Hey y'all, and a happy new year to you. Joe here from Southern Coastal Cooking coming at you. I know it's been a while y'all. I'm just breaking on camera out for the first time in 2021. And y'all, I'm sorry we've been super busy over the holidays. Had a bunch of stuff going on, so I hadn't really made any cooking videos. But I wanted to go ahead and do a video to you today. I'm coming to you from my new little so-called man cave, I guess you could say. My I've got here in the corner of my garage now. It's got a little TV set up. Me and my buddies come out here and we watch a little TV and, and you know we can open the door, have cigars, have a bourbon or something like that. But anyway, it's fun. But I wanted to come at you today because I'm gonna be doing some cooking videos here real soon, hopefully one this weekend. As I moved through the holidays, I stumbled upon some things that I really, really liked. Um, as far as cooking goes, and this one I'm going to share with you tonight just really blew my socks off. i tell you what, this is right here. Oh, let's see, I'm going to draw it right here. This is called Jim Ballridge Special Seasoning. I don't know if y'all can see this. I'll put a link to it, one of my Amazon links or whatever in the description box. They also have a website. Uh, where is it here? Uh, Jim Ballridge Seasoning, or BallridgeSeasonings.com. You can go there too and get it. But uh, i tell you what, folks. This is a all-purpose seasoning. And the way I found it, he calls it, you know, his, his secret seasoning, all-purpose, all-natural, old family recipe. It basically was handed down from his grandmother to him and now to his, uh, his children and everything like that. And, um, you know, it was made for, you know, a do-all type recipe, but it's not like a seasoned salt or anything like that. I mean, let me tell you how I found out about it. Uh, had friends and family over all through the holidays, had some family come and from out of state and everything. And we were all having a big cook one night. We were cooking a big old thing of ribeyes and, and one of my family members had this stuff and they said, dude, you got to try this. And you know, I am, I, I'm, oh, I, you know, but I'm not afraid to back up and say, Hey, look, you know, I'll try something new. I'm going to let you do the steaks tonight. You know, we'll, we'll do something. Well, they used this Ballridge uh, Jim Ballard's secret seasoning on those steaks. And I'm gonna tell you what, it totally blew me away. I'm gonna have to show you, you know, how to cook a steak. But I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a brisket with it this weekend. But what this stuff does with me, and he's won uh, you can go on the website and read the history, but all kind of awards with this stuff uh, for beef and different things. Of course they can put them on vegetable uh you know fish and things like that but i've so far i've had on beef and pork absolutely love it i start out uh he brought me <laughs> when they came and cooked it he brought you know from from where they live uh, a little tiny little ball about as big as my fist of it and used by half of them so you gotta let me keep that I, I can't get any around here you gotta let me keep that so ended up i got it around here oh. Went ahead and just got a four pound bag of it so I can refill and got me the shaker here. And of course you can you can get all that off their website. Again, I'll put an Amazon link in the description box for you where you can run down there and get it too. But I'll tell you what, this stuff is is has such a nice punch to it. It's actually got, and believe it or not, it's got uh, you know, it's got some salt, it's got some sugar in there even with some dehydrated onions, garlic, marjoram, rosemary, thyme, all different things like that. And it just really gives like a firecracker effect, you know, on that steak when it's sitting there in that beef and just really brings out some good flavors. So I do highly suggest y'all give this a try. But yeah, this is the first video I, I did here. Uh, you know, I wasn't gonna do a video until this weekend until I can actually cook something. But you know, I got so excited about this stuff and I just got in the mail today. You know, if I've been using my little bitty shaker jar, um, I was just like, man, I gotta do a video of this stuff. So anyway, thank y'all so much. God bless y'all. Take care, stay safe, you know, out there. And I really do miss y'all. Thank y'all for sticking with me uh, through all this, through 2020. And now we go into 2021. And yeah, we're gonna have a great year, y'all. And uh, look forward to doing some more videos for you.